I definitely use everything available to get maximum sales for my online store. Klaviyo is essential for email marketing. Once you install this app and create an account, you'll be able to set up automations and build out complete funnels. Starting from when you offer that initial promo code for the first purchase, all the way through the entire process. When an order comes in, when you ship the package, when the package is received, when it's finally in your customer's hands, you can configure how many days later they'll receive the next email in the sequence. All of this can be automated directly within the service. You can also fully customize the design of your emails so that it matches your branding. Additionally, you can set up exactly when and at what stage each email will be sent. Setting up these kinds of funnels is actually very intuitive. If you've ever set up chatbots before, everything here works in a similar way. Once you fully understand this system, you can build automations and sales funnels so effective that you won't need to do the work yourself. Everything will run automatically for you. The next app I want to talk about is necessary for collecting reviews from your customers after they've made a purchase. Reviews are important from the very beginning because they increase the likelihood that other people will buy from you as well. If someone visits your site for the first time and doesn't know your brand, but sees that others have already bought your product and left a review, you increase the chance that they'll make a purchase too. So, before you launch your online store, be sure to install an app that collects reviews. You can also automate processes within this app. You won't need to send emails manually after your package is shipped. You can set up specific triggers so that a certain number of days after the customer receives their package, an automatic email is sent asking them to leave a review. The next app I want to share is called Bundles. Bundles means a set of products. For example, if you sell sneakers and also have socks on your site, it's best to offer them as a bundle. Customers can buy each product separately, but they'll also have the option to buy them together as a set. This increases your average order value and it's convenient for the customer because they can get a discount. Let me show you a specific example. Here's an online store that sells coffee and other products needed for making coffee or tea. And in this case, matcha as well. Each of these products can be bought separately, but here we have a special category for such bundles. In this case, you can buy the whole set, which consists of several products, and save some money. This method is ideal for niche stores. That's exactly what this store is. The next app I want to share is for cross-selling. In English, cross-selling means offering an additional product that complements the main product or suggesting a similar product at a higher price. For this, I've used this app in the past. It's perfect for most cases. Let's look at a specific example of how it works. Here we have an online sportswear store and there are leggings that cost 45 euros. When we scroll down, we see that in addition to the main product, there's a cross-selling offer. In this online store, they offer to buy these leggings and a top together. I think it's called a top, if I'm not mistaken. You can buy them separately or as a set. This is cross-selling. You suggest a related product so the customer can buy both and use them together. Sometimes, you can also add similar products below the Add to Cart button. There are many ways to do this. Here, they also offer similar leggings, but at a much higher price, either 65 euros or 55 euros. So, when a customer visits your online store, they see leggings for 45 euros, but also others for 55 or 65. Maybe those are different in some way and might suit the customer better, which increases the chance they'll buy leggings from you, maybe at a higher price, or they'll use your cross-selling tactic and add a top as well. The apps I'm talking about in this video are great additions for selling on the platform, but they won't help much if you've set up your online store or marketing incorrectly from the start, you always need to improve your online store. This process never ends, and there are many tools for it. Of course, you should always use classic analytics, but there's also another tool called Hot. What does it do? It helps you record the screen and fully track the user's actions. First, it creates what's called a heat map. This is necessary to understand how far users scroll down your site, so you know where to position your information most effectively. Another thing this tool does is record the entire screen session. As you can see here, you can track exactly where the cursor moved, how long the user stayed, and when they left the site. You can also collect feedback, for example, by asking for a review of the user experience on your site. This way, you'll collect feedback and understand whether your changes to the online store were effective or not. 
You can also create your own surveys. I really like this method because if I create a specific product and want to know if there are any changes needed, I add a survey to that particular site to collect feedback about that product. This tool is very powerful and great for professionals. And as you've come to expect from me, I like to give a bonus at the end. My bonus today is another app called Kel or Quizzle. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. In any case, this app helps you create forms for presenting your product. Let me give you an example. If you sell beauty products and have a lot of them on your site, it can be hard for visitors to choose which one is best for them. In a physical store, it would be easy I just ask a consultant, get advice, pick a product, and go. But online, it's not possible to do it exactly the same way. That's why there's a way to implement this app. Let me show you a specific example. Here we have an online store that sells beauty products, but since I don't know which product is right for me, there's an online consultant here who will help me. After I answer a few questions like what type of hair I have, what I like, what I don't like, the consultant will recommend a specific product for me. I'll just randomly select answers here. Of course, you can fully adapt this for your own product. After we filled everything out, we see the results and all the products that fit our criteria. This makes it much easier for your customers to make a choice and increases the likelihood that they'll order from you. Which apps you need to implement at the beginning will depend on what you're selling and who your audience is. But no matter how you implement them, if your online store isn't set up properly from the start, even these apps might not help. You'll find all of this in my mini course. Bye and see you next time.